Hello, I'm Zan Freeman, Mark Freeman's older brother. Right now we have a Link Belt 3400 and uh, it's kind of an old sloppy hole. Here are the uh, pins of the bucket. There's a slight bit of wear here and here. Over half an inch. So what we did was we built our own line boring machine here. It's going to be about ten to twelve thousand for a line boring machine. So I welded up this hole and this one inside there, and I took a shaft and we put a tool bit in right there, and. We stick a mag drill on here and attach it on the end and we spin it and feed it through. You can see this side's cleaned up. We just have to do the other side. But for a couple hours work it was a lot cheaper. So also we built a new roller in here. That one there snapped off so machine now they're only put a boss around it so if the track hits it, it doesn't break off the grease nipple this one I have to put the plug in and uh, change the exhaust on it we also change the exhaust so, just to do Nice thing about these clamps is you can take them off and reuse them. They're all stainless steel. And what else? In the uh, winter time, we have a passive hot water solar system, which heats the shop floor. And also, we're going to connect our generator into the hot water system. This is a uh, 200,000 BTU wood boiler. It's a gasification so it's better for the environment than some of the other boilers out there. And here's the controls for the solar. It's about what six o'clock and the water going out is 110 and the water coming in is 140. See that? So here we have a Haas TL2 tool room lathe. Just finished a big job, a couple days of machining. Uh, that's why it's so dirty and everything. Need some time to polish it up. I have a six shell chuck on it, which is really nice. Holds things real true. And here's some of the things I make. That's a roller for weather stripping. It's a little bit rusty. It's been kicking around for two years. So here's another one. There's a slight rad in it. There's both bearing diameters in each end I have to be within a tenth with that um, mandrel punch for a die it's hardened steel so again we have the EDM machine here and here's a block that uh, cut not too long ago it's one more send it two so This is on the wire machine here. Come see the tank. So this head here can move independently of the other the bottom head. So that's where we get the tapering. So old. here's old Bertha. We rescued it from the scrap yard, it was doomed. So she'll take a three inch drill, plunge it in, no problem. Here's some of the chips. Yes, they are very sharp. And uh, last but not least is our Fort Worth. It uh, feeds the EDM machine all the blocks. Works great for me. Ah. Need to turn on the air compressor, but got a nice cutter in there. 
Works great for squaring up blocks. Lots of chips. So, here's the generator for the shop. 36 horse Mitsubishi, four cylinder diesel. Non turbocharged. That's how we run all the 600 and 480 volt equipment.